So in this video, we are going to be showing you how to make a traffic light simulator using Arduino and PictoBlocks like this. The materials we'll be needing are our Arduino board, our breadboard, jumper cables, 220 ohm resistors, and our LED lights. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first step is to connect the positive leg of our LED light to the pin 12 of our Arduino board. So connect this to pin 12. Then you are connecting your resistor to the GND of your breadboard. I'm also going to connect this reel where the resistor is connected to the GND on our Arduino board. Then you repeat the steps for the remaining LED. This will go to pin 11 and a resistor. Then green. To 11 to 10 and a resistor. So we are done with the connection now, it's time to write the code. To write our code, we are using our picture block software, I already have that open. The first thing we are going to do is make sure that your board is connected to your laptop. So you connect your board to your laptop using your USB cable. Yes, that is when you go over here to board and select our board we're using Arduino you know after that we come over here to connect to connect our board so once you've successfully connected your board to your laptop you come over here to mode and switch it to upload mode so the very first block we're going to be bringing out is when our Arduino email starts. Then we move over to our forever block. Remember, we are writing the code for a traffic light simulator. And in our traffic light um, circuit that we've connected, we have three different LED lights the red, the yellow, and the green. So the first LED, which is the red LED, is connected to the pin 12. So we are coming back here to Arduino Remo and we are bringing out set the hub pin 13 output as high. We are changing this to pin 12 because the red light is connected on pin 12. So we are telling the LED light to come on. Come on for 3 seconds, we want the red light to come on for 3 seconds, so we are going to bring out wait 1 second and change this to 3. Once that is done, we want it to also go off. Then we just have to change this to 12 and this to blue. So this is switching the red light off. This is switching the red light off and this is bringing it in. So we are done with the red light, then the yellow light is connected on pin 11. So we are bringing this out again, switching this to 11. Then this time around, we want the yellow light to only come on for one second before it goes off. So for it to go off, we just have to bring this out again. And change this to 11. 
and change this to blue. So we are done with the yellow lid. Next is the green lid which is connected on pin 10. So what we are doing next, we are changing this to 10. We want it to come on for 3 seconds so we are bringing out wait 1 second and changing it to 3. Before it goes off. So for it to go off, we we'll bring this up again, change it to 10, and this to blue. So we've successfully written the code for our traffic light simulator. For it to work, we have to upload our code. And how do we upload our code? We upload our code by coming over here. And we see upload code, all we have to do is click on it, then this would come up. It's building, it's building, it's building. And once it shows upload successful, once it shows uploaded successfully, your code has been successfully uploaded. Now let's see how it looks like. And there we have it. This is our traffic light simulator. That's our red light, wow, our yellow light, and our green light. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, drop a comment in the comment section, and also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.